Hey everyone, it's Meg and welcome back to more reactions to Superman the Animated Series. We are starting season two today, woohoo! Season two today, woohoo! I wanted to finish the technical end of Batman the Animated Series season one before I moved on to season two of Superman and Batman. So I'm super hyped to continue this. As we all know, I am really enjoying Superman and getting to know more of the lore and the villains. And I feel like the animated series, especially for Superman, is just super, super <laughs> light and fun and just makes me laugh and smile. So I'm really hyped to be watching this today. Um, I'm also watching Superman animated movies. Superman live action. I'm gonna watch Superman 2 soon with Christopher Reeves. So definitely be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications or something. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. I'm serious. Um, it's not something I should be proud of. Okay, well, let's get started. This is called uh, Blast from the Past. By the way, I probably should have said that. Ba -ba -ba. Need a hand, Professor? Oh, <laughs> no, thank you. There seems to be a compartment in here that I had to close before. Oh my god. Oh. I think you'll find this very interesting. It's like a microscope. Oh. Krypton, this is where they imprison dangerous aliens. Ooh. Be careful. <laughs> Oh, welcome. Oh dear. <laughs> Superman's jaw dropped. It's like crab legs. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at. Poor Metropolis. Gotham just has crazy human villains and then Metropolis has aliens. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that machine should come with instructions. Just making a mental note to label that knob. Help me! Please! Release me! Uh-oh. I serve my sentence! Where is the council? Hmm. Hello? <laughs> Who are you? Mala! Mala? My name is Kalel. Oh, he uses that name. Oh. He will know. So she's been there a minute. Hey, fellas, keeping warm. <laughs> nice. Tell me about Mala. One moment, please. Nice. He's gonna do his research. I thought he was just gonna let her out. Mala. At the peak of her Ooh. career, was second in command of planetary defenses. Who will save Krypton from its enemies? Hmm. I like their armor. The thirst for power corrupted Jaxor's mind. The council has grown weak. Krypton <sighs> is a strong leader to reclaim its former greatness. I don't think so. It's giving fascism. Jaxor and Mala seize the ruling council would surely have held on to power if not for one young scientist who had learned of the traitor's plans. Jor-El. Father. Oh my god, he came prepared. Nice. Mala? But the council was sympathetic to Mala. Who they believed was only following orders. Um, didn't look like it. Okay. But I, I have a feeling she played a bigger part than that. Phantom Zone projector. Uh oh. We're letting her out. Okay. Be careful. It really does look like they're looking at bacteria in a microscope. Why aren't we on Krypton? I'm it's sorry. Gone. Krypton was destroyed a long time ago. So if it was 20 years, it's not, she didn't spend too much time. Now hang on. Aww. People on Earth can fly. <laughs> Actually, just me. 
And you too, once your body absorbs enough yellow sunlight. Oh, thank you, son. Please don't be evil. See, this is what I love about Superman. He just cares about the forgotten. You know, he's just investing so much time in her. And I know she's from Krypton, but she's a she's an ex-con. And I love that he's taking time to, like, rehabilitate her and free her in the first place. Damn. Oh, oh, you're going to cause deforestation. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> when you accidentally almost deforest an entire planet. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> the only two people with these powers on the planet? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're defenseless against us. Yes, uh, I'm just a human being. In fact, I, I bleed more easily than many. <laughs> oh, be nice to him. You can't ever use your powers to hurt people. Of course. Mm, wholeheartedly. He actually has a woman in his life. Yeah, it's a little, a little nerve-wracking, huh? They're like insects raiding a nest. I don't think that you should view them as insects. We've seen problems with this, though, with other Kryptonians. And I like anything that proves it's not just because Clark slash Kal-El is Kryptonian that he's so good and powerful. It has more to do with his human person, human personality and his parents. <laughs> Awkward. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I feel like she's enjoying it too much. Beg me. I'm begging you, please. She would get along with Batman. She got an Ariana Grande ponytail. This one's confessed and promised restitution. This one. Hey, I've missed you. Uh oh. Whoa! Did Superman do this? No. Are these Earth troops? Oh. Sort of. I am Mala, <laughs> Superman's second in command. No. <laughs> I mean, this. she's resuming her role of the guy. The guy that rebelled. And I thought I was career mom. <laughs> <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> I was like, is she going to be jealous? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She's just like, okay, ambition. Girl boss. This to say about the ex-con from Krypton. Now the truth comes out. Superman and this woman fancy themselves out <laughs> Of Earth. course. No doubt they plan to populate the Earth with Kryptonians, reducing us to slaves or pets. Lex, that's quite a stretch. <laughs> An enticing notion. <laughs> oh. He should send this criminal back to where he found her. I'm never going back. Never! Okay. Lex, your xenophobia is showing. The images I saw didn't say anything about her being so power hungry. Mmm. If Mala doesn't straighten out, we may have to send her back. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, shoot. I mean, that is like the worst freaking prison ever. I know he has... <laughs> She's mad. No other choice, but... I only want to help people. Yeah, right. I'm Wonder Woman. Excuse me. Nothing. Ah, it's all connecting. Are you guys an item? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'd spurn me. Oh my god. Oh, I see. Uh oh. You prefer the touch of these inferior. They haven't even gotten together in this. <laughs> okay, honey. Ah. Don't touch his woman. You okay? Mm -hmm. Talk about high maintenance. <laughs> I think I found your weakness. Oh. I care about everyone, though you're pushing it right now. <laughs> I mean, it's true. He cares extra about Lois. I'm not Jaxer. Yeah. No, you aren't. Oh, shit. <gasps> so I wonder if her and Jaxer were romantically involved. No, why would you do that? Jeez. 
Oh her. no. Did you destroy it or something? Stop her. Oh she goodness. Took the projector. Are you gonna put Superman in there? Maybe she just wants to destroy it. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, I didn't even think about that. Welcome to Earth, my darling. Yeah, they were romantically involved. Going to love it here. Oh my God, I love these episodes. Oh, wow. So they there it was a love story. I love it because it kind of reminds me if she did have more of a say in the plans and stuff, it reminds me of in Rome at the height of the empire, the women actually had a lot of power and would orchestrate things behind the scenes and get their husbands to do things. Um, and it'd be really cool if she was more the brains behind it. And it makes sense that they were tied together and they had like a romance because he took the fall for her and made it seem like he thought of it and she was just following orders, which I never really believed, but that's just me. But I really like her as a character. I like that she's she's strong, but she's also like in love and she's a little insecure because um, she thought that Superman could be her Jack, sir. It's really interesting. Almost there, Professor. Oh, well, here comes the fun part. That's Cute. He's gonna love this. My word. I come up here every now and then to feed them and steal a few moments to be by myself. You know, if anyone deserves their own fortress of solitude, it's you. Oh. Fortress of solitude. Is that how we're getting this name? Fortress of solitude. I love that they're just two nerds enjoying things together. He's a good friend. Welcome to Krypton. Brainiac, I'd like you to show us how to build a phantom zone projector. One moment, please. Nice. Better get out your pad and pencil. <laughs> no. Fossil fuel engines. Primitive, aren't you? Oh my god. Out of the way, snails! Um. Superman. She's being recognized. They are afraid of us. Of Did her. Why, my darling? Nothing would please me more. Ugh. <laughs> okay, you're just showing off. Outstanding. Oh goodness. Something going on I should know about? <laughs> Where have you been, Kent? On another planet? <laughs> yes, actually. Oh gosh. Nice. Oh shit. And where's Jar Jurex? You're just watching? I guess he has a lot of faith in her. He knows her abilities. Your father was a clever man, though I see you share his poor judgment in choosing sides. Glad to disappoint you. <laughs> You'll face the general when spoken to. Ugh. Mala, crush his skull. Oh my Thank god. You, Thank you, general. No, 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 no. Okay, that really scares me. Nice. Meanwhile, the professor is working on building another projector. I don't know. I just love her ponytail. Ow. Ah. He did that. Oh, she did that. <laughs> he did that and then she did that. Ah, oh, so cool. Such a cool shot. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <It's Superman> Carter. <laughs> 
She got all the scratches. She's so like violence driven that she's not even freeing her boyfriend. She can't think that big. Oh. Thanks. But I think you just lost your dance partner. How's it coming, Professor? You're just in time. We're ready to proceed. Nice. You worked so quickly. Uh-oh. We couldn't expect it to be perfect. We're missing a crystal that vibrates at the Phantom Zone's frequency. <gasps> Is he gonna go in? And not uh, one has a clue where Jaxer and Mala could be? Hey, it's not like you can just look them up in the white page. <laughs> She's the only one who talks back. <laughs> and I love it. Although, I think I'd call this a lead. <laughs> She's like a foot taller than him. She's I love it. He cares about. No! Are you serious? Let her go. Tell Superman we're at Mala's cabin. They're gonna have the projector set up. No, do not put her in there. The suits to protect me from this. <gasps> mm. Oh yeah, kryptonite. I forgot about that. Yet. Here, keep her covered. Love to. Oh God, this is what I was afraid of. But maybe this is where you get the crystal. You know what I mean? No, 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 girl. Oh. There are so many ways to kill her, I can hardly choose. No. Let her live. She's a reporter. Let her tell her world that Superman is gone forever. That's your first mistake, because she's gonna... She's very capable, and she's probably gonna find the... Professor. Oh. I'm gonna personally lead the army that vaporizes you, too. Or vice versa. Either way, see you soon. Okay. Come on, Soups, you got this. The two Kryptonian renegades attacked the United Nations building this morning, forcing their way into the Security Council. When the world's leaders refused to surrender- History repeating itself. Reports of devastation are coming in from all over the world. No! Was he wearing okay, nice. the anti-Kryptonite suit when they sent him into the zone? Yeah. We treated the suit with a traceable radioactive coating. He predicted it might happen. Can you hear me? Professor? Professor? Hang on. We're going to try to pull you back. Oh, no. Oh. He's been torn between dimensions. Ah! Stop! Oh, okay. What did they do with the other projector? Jeez, he just got torn dimensionally. What good is the scrap pile going to do the us? The crystal. That's all right. We only need one. In light of the destruction that has been wrought upon our <sighs> it is clear no that we terrorists. have no choice but to surrender the planet to the High General Jack Sword. I wouldn't sign that just yet. What? Oh yeah. I think I can negotiate a better <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my god. God. He's in a pod. Death is better than the Phantom Zone. I'll take your word for it. I guess it's better the humans got out of the way. Oh! Wham, wham. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. No! You guys could not hold it together. No! What did you expect? Roll, exactly. What did you expect? It's sad because those are Kryptonians. Like, those are his people. 
Fortress of Solitude? <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly lonely up here. Though I am the only Kryptonian. Lately, I'm thinking it's better we keep it that way. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I loved those two episodes. Those were some of my favorites. I gotta be honest. I really liked Mala as a villain. Could have taken or leave in Jurex, but he was important for her her villainhood and her character. <laughs> um, but I thought she was just everything I would want in like a female villain. I loved her hair. I loved her strength and her flaws and... I just thought it was really interesting and I couldn't keep up with the twists and what was going to happen next. Like, I don't know why. I just didn't even think that she would bring back Jurax. I didn't even know <laughs> it would be possible or anything. Um, I love that they kind of tied that together with the Fortress of Solitude because I only knew it was called that because of people in my comments and on Patreon who told me. Because when we were introduced to it, I said, oh, it's like the Batcave. It's his bat Batcave. And then people told me, which could have been a spoiler, but oh, well. Um, but I think that's really cute that it was the professor who said it. And he was like, OK, but, I'm, you know, I'm not lonely. Um, I love his journey of kind of finding out more about his, his people and Krypton and just how much jor -El helped and, you know, kept them in check because they are an advanced society. And, like, some of that power, whether it was with the military or, like, even with the council, it, it was left un... You know, it, it couldn't be left unchecked. And it's not that Krypton as a race... Sorry. Krypton as a planet and you know, nationality, race, whatever. It's not that they're so amazing that then Superman is amazing. Like, that's actually not really... I think it's a very small part of what makes Superman awesome. I think it mainly has to do with his two sets of parents. <laughs> his... Both his dads and both his moms. And um, his upbringing, especially on Earth. And that kind of humility that he learned living in a small town growing up in a small town um and just focusing on the people around you and loving the people around you and just wanting wanting to do good and you could see that in the way he befriends people and the way he gave an ex-con a chance and he spent time rehabilitating her and teaching her it didn't really occur to him until a ways in that she would even think to be bad. <laughs> and I think, you know, it's really precious to me because of course there are people in prison and jail that shouldn't be there. And if given a chance at a, a, a good life would actually do well. And I love that about Superman. I love that he believed in her. I don't think he's naive. I don't think he's stupid. Like he just thought, why wouldn't she just want to be here and help me? do good and protect people but that girl was very career hungry <laughs> career motivated like lois said power hungry um she liked violence and of course i don't like her as a person but i love her character i think um something for me with superman is that i felt that there weren't as many awesome villains as batman but that is a kind of villain I would, I could get, I could get down with, you know, I think she's really cool. She's got a really cool look and I loved all the scenes of them fighting, but yeah, I think, sorry, my brain went on like a, a tangent, a billion tangents, but I think that I'm just so excited to keep reading all these different Superman stories and watching this show because I like him uncovering more about what Krypton was and Kryptonians and just him and his love for Earth and humans and Lois, of course. But yeah, I can't keep I can't wait to keep watching more. But thank you so much to my tier four patrons, John G. Robinson and Light Yagami. 
Thank you for producing this video. I really appreciate you guys. And I really appreciate all my other patrons. If you would like to join the Patreon, you will have access to all the episodes of season one, plus, you know, future episodes of season two to watch along with your copy either on Max, HBO Max, but now it's Max, um, or with your DVD set, whatever that will be available to you. And it's just a way to support this channel go above and beyond. But um, yeah, that's there. And thank you for watching till the end. <laughs> I appreciate it. I never thought that there would be people that want to watch my reaction to these older shows. It's just really, really cool. So thank you. And if you have any Superman comics, oh, let me know if Mala is in any Superman comics because I really like her. That's booming because this is dinner time. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you can take care of yourselves, drink water, and I will see you next time.